the tiger, the brahmin, and the jackal. Once upon a time, a tiger was caught in a trap. He tried in vain to get out through the bars and rolled and bit with rage and grief when he failed. By chance, a poor brahmin came by. Hey, you, let me out of this cage, oh pious one, cried the tiger. Oh, no, no, my friend, replied the brahmin mildly. You would probably eat me if I did. No, not at all. On the contrary, I should be forever grateful and serve you. Now when the tiger sobbed and sighed, <laughs> and wept and swore, the pious Brahmin's heart softened, and at last he consented to open the door of the cage. Out popped the tiger, and seizing the poor man, cried, What a fool you are! What is to prevent me from eating you now? For after being cooped up so long, I am just terribly hungry. In vain, the Brahmin pleaded for his life. The most he could gain was a promise to abide by the decision of the first three things he chose to question, as to the justice of the tiger's actions. So the Brahmin first asked the pipple tree what it thought of the matter, but the pipple tree replied coldly, What have you to complain about? Don't I give shade and shelter to everyone who passes by? And don't they in return tear down my branches to feed their cattle? Don't whimper. Be a man. Then the Brahmin, sat at heart, went further afield, till he saw a buffalo turning a wheel well. But he fared no better from it, for it answered, You are a fool to expect gratitude. Look at me. Whilst I gave milk, they fed me on cottonseed and oil cake. But now I am dry. They yoke me here, and give me refuse as fodder. The Brahmin, still more sad, asked the road to give him its opinion. My dear sir, how foolish you are to expect anything else. Here am I, useful to everybody, yet all rich and poor, great and small, trample on me as they go past. On this, the Brahmin turned back sorrowfully, and on the way, he met a jackal, who called out, mm-hmm. Why, what's the matter, Mr. Brahmin? You look as miserable as a fish out of water. The Brahmin told him all that had occurred. How very confusing. Would you mind telling me over again? For everything has gotten so mixed up. The Brahmin told it all over again, but the jackal shook his head in a distracted sort of way and still could not understand. It's very odd, but it all seems to go in one ear and out the other. I will go to the place where it all happened, and then perhaps I shall be able to give a judgment. So they returned to the cage, by which the tiger was waiting for the Brahmin, and sharpening his teeth and claws. You've been away too long, but now let us begin our dinner. Our dinner? thought the wretched Brahmin, as his knees knocked together with fright. What a remarkable, delicate way of putting it. Give me five minutes, my lord, he pleaded. In order that I may explain matters to the jackal here, who is somewhat slow in his wits. The tiger consented, and the Brahmin began the whole story over again, not missing a single detail, and spinning as long a yarn as possible. Oh, my poor brain. Let me see. How did it all begin? You were in the cage, and the tiger came walking by? Puh! What a fool you are. I was in the cage. Hmm. Oh, of course. Yes. I was in the cage. No, I wasn't. Dear, dear. Where are my wits? Let me see. The tiger was in the Brahmin, and the cage came walking by. No, no, that's not it either. Well, don't mind me, but begin your dinner, for I shall never understand. Yes, you shall. I'll make you understand. Look here, I am the tiger. Yes, my lord. And that is the Brahmin. Yes, my lord. And that is the cage. Yes, my lord. And I was in the cage, do you understand? Yes, no, please, my lord. Well, please, my lord, how did you get in? How? Why, in the usual way, of course. Oh, dear me, my head is beginning to whirl again. Please don't be angry, my lord. But what is the usual way? At this, the tiger lost patience and, jumping into the cage, cried, This way. Now do you understand how it was? Perfectly, grinned the jackal, as he dexterously shut the door. And if you will permit me to say so, I think matters will remain as they were. The jackal had saved the Brahmin, and as they walked away, they could hear the tiger pleading, but neither one turned to help him this time. Thanks for listening, everyone. If you like the stories, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get a notification when the next story comes out next Friday.